Welcome to the Informatica video channel. My name is David Anantharajan. In this video, we will learn about subtype matching in Informatica's Master Data Management System. We will look into what subtype matching is, how to set up a match rule with subtype matching. We will also briefly look into how records are matched when parent is matched based on child columns. We will also look into some examples to compare the results of matching with and without subtype. Subtype matching is similar to standard parent-child matching with the additional requirement that the columns marked for subtype must be the same across the records being matched. Subtype is a match column property that you can set when configuring match rules. Subtype is also only available for exact match column types that are on a non-root path component. We will look into that. It can be on multiple columns. Subtype matching has performance implications, especially if the column selected from a subtype has several values. Example, if records 1 and 2 are being matched, and if both these records have, say, 20 children each with distinct subtype values, then the match engine will have to loop through each of these subtype values to find a match, until it finds a match. So if in the first attempt a match is found, it will not be these two records will not be attempted again for a match but if there are you know if, if these two records are not a match then it will it will have to go through the all the different subtypes 20 in this case and that is the reason you have to carefully consider the performance implication with subtype matching let us quickly look at the tables that are going to be used in this example I have a, a parent object which is a party and the child address uh, party ID is the foreign key from address to party Let's look at the party table, uh, the match merge setup, and you can see I have a match path component set to the child table address. And if you look at the match columns, uh, there are only two exact uh, match columns, the address type and party type. In this case, as you can see, party type is coming from the root, so it cannot be a subtype column. Only ex, uh, the address type can be a subtype because it is an exact and it is coming from the child. Let's now take a look at the rule. Let's edit it and we can see here address type. To set up the subtype, just select the subtype over here. And uh, as you can see here, person name is a fuzzy, so the fuzz subtype option is grayed out. I'm going to deselect this because in the very first example, we are going to do a matching without any subtype. Let us briefly uh, look into the actual data set here. This is um, so um, party row ID. So this is the parent table. So there are three parties, as you can see, one, two, and three. Uh, each of these parties have multiple children. Party uh, one has uh, two children, and uh, party two has three, and party three has three. Um, the display name is coming from the parent table. The rest of the columns are coming from address, which is the child. It is important to know that while matching, individual match columns are compared between the two records and not the entire row. So in this case, for example, all of these won't be compared, say when you're comparing record 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3 Main Street, New York City, Ontario, as a string will not be complete, uh, compared against 1, 2, 3 Main Street, Toronto, BC. It'll be compared individual basis. So it'll try to match 1, 2, 3 with any of the child records, any of the rec records in um, for um, row ID object 2. So there is a match. And these two can be matched also. Although they are coming from different child records, it's the pool that it looks into. So to further stress this example, say for if you, if you just compare 1 and 2, um, 1 and 2 will be a match because uh, Main Street is there in these two records and Toronto is there in let's say this and here and Ontario is here and on this so as you can see you know they are coming from you know the contributing child is not the entire record from a particular child it can match between children records or child records this is something that is it's very important to get a grasp of and uh, so you can you know spend your time you can have your own test to get a better understanding of this now the only so only uh, now when we add the address ty address type as a subtype matching the matching will happen the same way except only 
billing will be compared to billing and shipping will be compared to shipping so record one and two in this case may not match we will find out later on because you know the shipping is the one that is contributing to Toronto it's not there I hope this uh, particular example was uh, helpful uh, you know because uh, we proved how with uh, without subtype matching records one and two will match and with subtype matching they won't match now what we'll do is let's go run the match and actually see the results so the first one is going to be without the subtype matching if you go look at the, the match table you can see all three records are matching three is matching to one three is matching to two and two is matching to one now let's go ahead and uh, add the subtype matching so as you can see you know the very first run was there were three matches let's run it again let's look at the results see, as you can see there's only records uh, row ID object 2 and row ID object 3 are matching I'm going to show the data once more so you can figure out why um, two and three matched and that's an exercise for you guys um, I hope this session was uh, very helpful for additional information you can uh, look at the MDM configuration guide as well as um, uh, you can look at knowledge base, knowledge base articles that are based over here that has some pointers in it uh, my uh, my samples uh, the example was done done on the 971 environment um, we would love to hear from you and I hope this uh, presentation was helpful thank you bye bye